Hi everybody, welcome back to the Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we're gonna start our class. Feel good, feel happy, doing yoga at home. So we're gonna start today on the floor. We're gonna release again our neck and our spine. So we just lie on the ground, bring our arms to the side and let the face rest in one side. And try to feel here comfortable. Make sure that your palms are facing down and close your eyes. And listen your breath. And in the exhalation, just try to relax your neck. And very gently, we press the hips against the ground just to help us to engage our core muscles and help us to extend our back. We hold it here for four deep breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Now we move our face opposite direction. Feel the release in our neck, that gentle sensation of press our hips onto the ground. We hold for four breaths. Inhale deep. Exhale, feel the release of the lower back by gently pressing your hips on the ground. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Now we back our, our hands to the front. And this time we're going to rest the head in our hands. The forehead. And we're just going to very gently inhale, exhale. We bend the right leg, flex the foot. And release. Try to don't force, just try to be very nice, very gently, that you extend your thigh, the front of your thigh. And it's just to warm up. We flex the foot and we bend the leg to help us to extend our stretch, sorry, and mobilize our ankle. And we keep going. We exhale as we bend, we inhale as we lower the leg. And again, exhale and inhale. Let's go for four in each side. Another side. Let's go for three. Another side. Let's go two. Another side. And just one more. Another side. We come all the way. We back again into our extreme pose. Shoulders above your elbows, palms on the ground. And here we're just going to move our face side to side. So we inhale to prepare. Gently press with your feet. Exhale, press gently with your feet and your fingertips to have more engagement of you. Muscles, inhale. And exhale, we move our face towards to your right. Inhale back to center. Exhale onto your left. And one more time. Inhale. Exhale on your right. Feel the release in your neck. Inhale. Exhale on your left. And let's go for two more. Inhale. Exhale on your right. Inhale. Exhale on your left. Last one. Inhale. Exhale on your right, inhale, exhale on your left. Back to center, bring your hands close to your chest, and we come all the way onto child pose. We're resting here. Remember, if your bum doesn't reach the heels, 
Don't worry, keep your elbows, but still keep pushing your hands against the ground to press your palm down onto your heels. We let the head drop, chin and chest to release our neck. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. We come back onto all fours. Now the next part we can do it in two different levels. One level is if you feel really strong and you are used to, to these poses. And the other one is like a your beginners, is, are you just first classes in yoga? We're going to do it in an adaptation, okay? So we are going to go here onto all fours. So this is if you are just new onto yoga. So we are going to drop the pelvis. Doesn't matter if the hips don't reach the ground, don't force you back. Then we push strong our hands on the ground. Push more with your fingertips than your wrist. And then here we curl the toes under and we lift our bum and if we, don't, if we feel too much tension on the legs, we keep the legs bent so we can really concentrate and extend our back and then one more time we're going to repeat inhale slowly, we go down and try to go slowly so in that way you develop a strength we drop our hips, maybe you slide a little bit your feet, doesn't matter if we don't touch the ground and then back again, push the ground with your hands more with your fingertips, come up. We don't need to extend fully the legs, but we need to concentrate and extend the back and the arms. Super. So that will be a variation if you are new to yoga. Now, for some of you that you already know these poses and you are familiar, we're going to do a variation here, a downward dog and upward dog. So we're going to come on to plank. We're going to Drop the pelvis, but keep the toes curled under and push your heels backwards. Be careful, don't let the weight, the weight go onto your toes. You keep your back, pushing your heels backwards. High plank, and we go downward dog. And we're going to repeat a couple of times. Ready? So whatever of the two positions you are taking, we're just going to start. So we go inhale. And exhale, all fours, or high plank. Inhale. Exhale, drop your pelvis. Inhale, high plank or all fours. Exhale, downward dog. You can bend your knees to really concentrate more in extending your back and your arms. One more time. Inhale, high plank or all fours. Exhale, drop your pelvis. Lift your chest. And one more time. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. You can bend your knees at the beginning if you don't feel too warm. And one more time. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, upward dog. Try to don't let the weight go forward. Keep pushing your weight onto your heels. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. And last one. High plank. Drop your hips, but keeping the weight onto your heels and the toes curl under. That's why it's a little variation of your normal upward dog. And downward dog. Then we bring the knees onto the ground. We come onto the poppy, so we move our hands forward, let the chest go down, and we hold here for four. And exhale. Three. And exhale. Two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Come all the way up. We go on to child pose. So we need to just think about it. Every time we arch our back, then we curve it. And the other thing is that we will do the basic movements of the spine or the natural movements of the spine to release and give us a nice stretch. And that will help to maintain the right distance between vertebrae. So that will help us to don't compress our vertebrae and of course have more mobility.
We're gonna sit down on the side mm -hmm. and we're just gonna let the legs just cross in beside us. So we are sitting in one seat bone. Now here we're gonna lean the elbows to the legs so you can release your arm, you can still use your hands on the floor and we just lean onto the side. And if you feel comfy, you can swing the arm to the front arm. Reach, reach, reach. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep, engage your tummy, open your chest, and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Don't force your body. Let's go for two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Back to center, we go on to the other side. I think so for here for everybody it's okay to bring the elbow on the ground. Push your hips forward, open your chest, palm facing down. You can watch towards the ceiling or to the front. And we hold for four, inhale and exhale. Let's go for three and exhale. Let's go two. And exhale, and just one more, and exhale, engage your tummy, come all the way up, we swing to the other side, so we just change and sitting on the other side, cross your legs, so first we lean towards to the legs, so we lean, we can keep the hands on the floor, if we need support, if not, we can swing the arm to the front, bring it above the head, palm facing down. We feel lovely sensation in your waist and muscles. And we hold for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. Anytime, close your eyes, concentrate on your muscles, visualize your muscles, visualize your bones. Let's go for two. And exhale. And just one. And exhale. We're back to center. We go other side. Elbow on the ground. In the same position of the arms. And here try to curve as much as you can. Keep your tummy in. So the pelvis don't curve the spine. Open your chest. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. And then you then close your eyes to feel your body. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go to and exhale and use one more and exhale. Well done. We come back again to the other position or the other variation we do of the upward dog and downward dog. So remember, we can do it in all fours. So we go inhale. Exhale, drop the hips. We don't have to touch the ground. We don't force our back. Give me your arms straight. Then inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward dog. Or we can go high plank. Drop the pelvis without forcing your wrist. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Our toes always remain cr uh, curled under. We never point them away. Inhale, high plank, exhale, variation of upward dog. Inhale, high plank, exhale, downward dog. And again, inhale, and exhale. You always can do it on all fours position. And exhale. Now let's go just one more. Drop, come back, and exhale. Bring your knees onto the floor, back onto child pose. Release here your spine. We hold for a breath. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale, two, and exhale, and just one more, and exhale. We're back again on two all fours. We're going to lie down on our tummy, let the head rest on your hands, and we're going to repeat the leg curl. 
So reclining leg curl. We go inhale, exhale, bend the right leg and flex the foot. Inhale down. Exhale left and down. Right and down. Left and down. Without forcing, just to extend you the front of your thigh. Right and down. Left down. Right, down, left, down, right, down. Don't forget to flex your foot, left, down. One more time. Right, down, left. Gently press your hips into the ground. All right, down. Left, down, all right again, down, run left, down, and the last two in each side, right, down, left, down, right, and down, and left. And down. Bring your hands close to your chest, push your body up, come on to all fours. And we're just gonna repeat one more time the uh, upward dog and downward dog. Okay, remember you can do it from all fours or from high plank. So let's go. Inhale and exhale. Keep pushing your heels backwards. Don't let the, the weight collapse forward. Keep it backwards, keep your tummy strong. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, upward dog. Inhale, high plank. So we're working strength as well. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, upward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. And the last inhale, high plank. Exhale, variation of upward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Bring your knees slowly onto the floor. We're gonna repeat the side stretch. So we sit down on the side. Inhale, we lean, we swing the arm. And we just hold for four, and exhale, three, two, and just one more. Release, we go other side. Let's go for four. And exhale, feeling nice sensation, stretching as much as you feel good. Let's go for two. And exhale. Just one more. Feel lovely sensation in your waist. Now we release, we change. And the same, first we lean towards to the legs. And we hold for four. And exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale, two, that's good, and the last one. We go opposite direction, and we just hold here for four, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Two. And just one more. Come all the way up. How you feel? It feels great. It doesn't matter if we do just 10, 20 minutes. 
even five minutes that you release your spine, that you move and stretch your spine in the natural movements of the spine that will be very beneficial. You will stimulate blood circulation, oxygenation into your bones, oxygenation, sorry, oxygenation of the blood, and it will make you feel really good because mobility always gives us freedom, make us feel good. Thank you to join us and see you in the next one. And you can follow us as well in Instagram at Sacred Body Studio. Thank you.